You asked me questions, and now it's time for me to answer them. We recently passed 150,000 subs on the channel, so I decided to just do a bit of a Q&A for fun, and I allowed all of you to submit whatever questions you wanted. As of the time of recording, there were about 900 different comments on that community post. Now, I was just gonna go through and pick out some different ones to put into the video, and then somehow I ended up going through all 900 plus questions. So of those 900 questions, I obviously cut it down to not 900 questions because that would be way too long, but we got rid of all the duplicates and I tried to keep the more interesting ones. I'm going to be honest, I screenshotted all of these comments a few days ago, so I already forget what all of the questions were. The footage you see in the background is just some gameplay I recorded so that you'd have something else to look at while I'm just kind of rambling here. And before you say anything, yes, my Raiden doesn't seem to do that much damage because currently she has has an electro damage piece because it has good crit rate and crit damage and I don't have a good attack percent piece to replace that with. Also all the other characters besides Kokomi are very under leveled. So please spare me in the comments with how bad my damage is, I'm aware, trust me. But with that being said let's get right into this because I don't know how long it's gonna take considering there's a decent number of questions and I don't know how much I'm gonna say per question. For a basic question, what's your favorite and or your least favorite time of day? I don't know that I really have a favorite time of day but my least favorite time of day is probably about 5 or 6 a.m. Because I do a lot of my editing and recording at nighttime, so when the sun starts coming up and I realize that the sun is rising, it's like, oh crap, a new day already started, I'm not ready for this. My question is, was making content on YouTube or Twitch something you've always wanted to do for a living? Obviously, it's something I didn't expect to actually be doing, and also you never know how long it's really going to last, but yes, it's something I wanted to do for a very long time now. I mean, I can remember back in middle school, back in like freshman year of high school, wanting to be a YouTuber as a career. Did I ever think it was going to happen? Not really, but now that it kind of has, it's really nice. Are you planning to do another This Weapon Only series? If yes, what would it be and why? I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to say no, because knowing me, I may end up doing it sometime down the line, but for right now, I'm not planning on it because I have too many accounts. If I were to start another Weapon Only series, I would have to actually drop one of the ones I'm doing right now. And I don't mean just, oh, I'll farm off camera. I mean, no, I will have to stop playing on it. Mentally, I cannot juggle more than the three or four accounts that I'm already trying to juggle right now. Plus, it does get pretty tiring to go through and replay all the same quests over and over. So I'm not going to say definite no, but right now I'm not planning on it. Have you ever considered covering other games? It'd be cool to see what else you're interested in and other challenges you can do with other games. I would love to branch out at some point, but obviously I'm kind of, I don't want to say stuck, but stuck with Genshin Impact right now. The majority of my audience is here for Genshin Impact content, so if I randomly started posting other games instead, obviously that's not a good idea. And also the YouTube algorithm does not like you just trying out different things that are completely different from one another. The algorithm rewards consistency. With that being said though, I would like to try out other games at some some point maybe through streams and then have kind of a cut up version to put on YouTube or something like that. Though even if I did upload other content, I would still keep uploading Genshin content as well. If you would obtain a vision, which one do you think it would be? There's a couple different ones that I would be interested in having, but I think Electro and not just because that's the Raiden Shogun's vision. Throughout my life I've always had an interest, or rather I just thought lightning was very intriguing and cool, I guess. I mean the sky is generating electricity and then just shooting it at the ground kind of not that's not how it works but you know what I mean so I would have to say electro what is your favorite archon or story quest right in Shogun but you're also asking that since I've played them a few times are there any that I look forward to and the answer to that is absolutely not I'm so tired of playing through all of them though I would say Zhongli is the one that I don't like the most just because it's so many fetching quests on top of fetching quests on top of fetching quests how do you feel about all the recent weapon only series as of late did you ever give permission for creators to make their own well you see the thing about youtube and social media in general is if somebody sees something working they're going to copy it it's not like i have a copyright on genshin blank only series it's kind of mixed feelings for me because on one hand i'm a little sad that they did it since i originally wanted to go through and do all the different weapon accounts but i don't think it's as necessary now that so many other 
other people are doing them as well. On the other hand though, it's kind of cool to see that I started a trend of sorts with Genshin Impact content. Who were some of the first creators you watched who really got you into the YouTube community? I'm going to be honest, I don't remember the first ones I watched because that was so long ago. So maybe instead I could just give you a few creators that I have watched and sometimes still do watch when I have free time. Just to name a few, we have people like Connor, Michael Reeves, Video Game Donkey, Jay Schlatt, and Juby. Now obviously those all span a wide variety of content and I do watch more, but that's just a couple for you. Do you think you would ever try a Nuzlocke in Genshin again? Well, I wouldn't try another one. I would just continue the one that I was already doing. The reason I haven't gone back to that yet is because every time that I think about going back to it, I have a different account at the same point in the game and I never like uploading content onto YouTube where both accounts are at the same exact spot because I feel like it's very repetitive. Not only for the content itself, but for me mentally, it's very boring to do the same story or archon quests of the game over and over within like the same week. So at some point, I think I'm going to go back to revisit that Nuzlocke challenge, but just not right now. What is your favorite thing about the best gr I mean, Raiden Shogun? The answer? Yes. In the future, if Genshin ever decides to add new weapon or element types, what weapon or elements would you want to see added to the game the most? Nothing really comes to mind per se. I guess for an element, maybe something like Void, kind of what we think Danesleaf might have. But then as for the weapon types, I don't really want another melee weapon. We already have three of them compared to the two ranged weapons. But actually just completely going against what I just said, what if we had shields? And not like the actual bubble shield thing around the character to protect them. I don't know, it could be kind of cool and then you could have one character that throws it like Captain America or just something along those lines. What did you do before uploading Genshin content? I went outside. My question is why did you choose to make swords only and spells only not claymore or anything else? When I first was picking my weapon type I chose swords because it seemed to have the most variety of more so easily accessible characters as well as every element available. Plus the traveler starts out as a sword user so it kind of just made sense. Then for my second account it was between bows or catalysts and someone already had started bows plus I saw a lot of people leaving comments that they thought catalysts would be very difficult so I thought wow well, yeah I'm down for difficult I guess I just love suffering I know making a bunch of Genshin accounts can be boring and doing the same stories all over again can be time consuming and boring <laughs> yeah yes do you think you will stop making new accounts after only spells is over again I don't want to say yes or no because I change my mind constantly so I could say yeah no we're done with accounts now and then in a month be like all right guys here's the new account so I'm not going to give a definitive answer because I really can't, but for this moment in time, I don't want any accounts besides what I have right now. I want to actually make my account strong. I don't just want to keep adding more that I have to farm on. If you could make a rule and everyone had to follow it for one day, what would it be? Subscribe. Did you self-teach yourself digital art? And if so, do you have any tips? I mean, I guess kind of, yes, I did, but I am also not an artist, so I don't really know what to say to this. You're referring to the element swap series and on that it's not like I'm drawing anything. I'm just going in and kind of coloring. It's just a matter of knowing what colors work well together and then the different compositional layers. Which if you want me to explain it you will get nothing out of it. You're much better just going and looking up tutorials on YouTube. I guess if you were committing to digital art just as a whole the best thing I could say is be patient because it's not something that's going to come quick. Do you plan on making or experimenting with non-Genshin related content sometime in the future? If yes, what might it be? So obviously I did touch on this a little bit already, but I didn't really go into what games it could be. Again, I'm thinking of experimenting more on streams and then maybe turning it into content on YouTube. So some games I might want to try out are very challenging ones. Perhaps Jump King or Pogo Stuck or things like that because people like to see me suffer apparently and I like putting myself through that I guess. But honestly I'd be down to try any game that I'm interested in at least on streams. In terms of YouTube stuff I don't really know because algorithm stuff and it's hard. I do want to start mixing in other stuff on YouTube a little bit down the line though because that way there's more for everyone. What nation in Teyvat would you want to live 
live in and why? You see, that's a hard question because Inazuma has the Raiden Shogun, Liwei is just really pretty, and then Mondstadt has a lot of greenery, although Sumeru might take the spot for most greenery in one region. I think I would have to pick Liwei though. I just really like the overall aesthetic of it and how it's kind of like slanted on a mountainside and you're overlooking the coast and it's just really nice. Are you going to pull for Kazuha on Swords Only? Nope. Who's your favorite character in the Spells Only series? Part of me wants to say Ning Wang, but she also doesn't really do reactions, and reactions are just such a fun part of the game, so that's like the only thing holding her back in my mind. But we did also, just spoiler alert, get Hazo and Klee on Spells Only, so maybe one of them is gonna take over as my favorite. I guess right now, it would have to be Ning Wang. I feel like Mona or Kokomi could take over that spot, but obviously we don't have them on that account, so they don't count yet. If you hypothetically could C6 any character you had Raiden Shogun, what prompted you to create this channel and upload Genshin content specifically? Well, I'm gonna be honest, long long ago I tried a couple different ideas for YouTube channels. Way back when, I tried doing some Overwatch stuff and that went absolutely nowhere. Then eventually I tried doing some Minecraft stuff and in about two years of uploading, I got to a whopping just under 500 subscribers. None of those channels channels exist anymore, so you're not gonna find them if you look, sorry to say. But right towards the end of doing the whole Minecraft channel stuff, I really wanted to get back into Genshin, but I felt like if I played Genshin I would just be wasting time because I should instead be making content for the actual channel that I had. So my solution to that was to create another channel for Genshin Impact content. I figured as long as I can make videos and upload, then it won't feel like I'm wasting time so I can enjoy the game. Plus, Genshin Impact is one of those games where there's really nothing to do in co-op, so once you build characters or get characters, you just play alone. And since I have no friends that actually play the game, it's really nice to have the channel to share all of this stuff with all of you. What may be your least favorite thing about Genshin Impact? The lack of a skip button in cutscenes or dialogue, and Paimon. How did you come up with your persona? Why is a cup named Java in AI? Well, here's the, here's the misconception, you know, I am not a cup. The cup itself is not the AI. I am the AI. Think of it kind of like this. Imagine you walk into a Starbucks Bucks, and there's a barista there who is an AI and their name is Star. They are an AI barista named Star working at Starbucks. So now apply that to me. I am an AI barista named Java and the name of the coffee shop is Java the Cup. And I'm gonna be honest, in terms of the basic beginnings of this whole story, it started on live streams. I don't remember exactly how it came to be, but essentially chat started creating this narrative and then I took it and we ran with it. If you had to choose a food to eat for the rest of your life, what food would it be? Food, not drink. Well then I'm going to have to say probably ramen. There are so many different varieties and types and styles of ramen, plus you have like literally everything in it. You could have vegetables, you can have protein, you can have like the broth itself, you can have different sauces on top, it's got everything that you need. How did you come up with the nicknames you gave bosses? The Fierce Owl, Korea, University, Rock Dragon, etc. Those are all from Genshin Impact co-op videos. I myself really didn't come up with any of them. The Fierce Owl was just a clue I used for one of the bosses in a riddle based co-op video. And then I think the others were just mistranslations through Google Translate as people were trying to translate to English they could actually communicate with me. So yeah, if you want to see the origin of those, you can go check out the Genshin Impact co-op series. I don't know if this would count as being personal or not, but did you ever do extracurriculars whilst in school? And if so, what did you do? Well, it did change as I went throughout different years and levels of school, but I did cross country, I did track, and specifically on track, I was doing, I think the 800, the long jump and the high jump, even though I told the coach I wanted to run in the 100 meter dash, not the 800, because I'm much better at sprinting in short bursts and not long distance. But no, they wanted me on the 800, so I always came in last on the 800. And then the last day of school that year, we had a meet just between our own students just to, you know, just for fun, because why not? So I walk up to the coach. I'm like, you know, can I run in the 100 with all the other runners just because, like, it doesn't even matter? And he was like, oh, no, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll see if we have room. So then the whole meet starts winding down, and the last few runners are going to be going now. I walk over to the starting line. 
line and I was like, oh, I, I want to run with the 100 meter dash and the, the other students and the other people running were like, you know, just, just go on, you know, you, you could go, it doesn't matter. So I go, I get down on the starting line, you know, they, they shoot the little cap gun or whatever it's called into the air. Boom, we're off. I'm running. I'm running too fast. I beat everyone on the team. And then my coach, he turns to me. He looks me dead in the eye and says, oh, you're pretty fast, huh? Yeah, no, duh. That I've been telling you to put me on this event. But besides that, I did play tennis as well. What is your favorite song, album, or music artist and why? I'm going to be honest, I don't have one. I've never had a favorite song or music or whatever. I really listen to just about anything. As long as I like the song, I don't care what genre it's from. Though I'd have to say recently, I've been really liking the Eurobeat genre. I think what I wanted to ask specifically was why you started the Swords Only series and did you think it would be so successful? Absolutely not. I don't remember exactly how I came up with the idea and I think there's another question that kind of tied into this so I'm not going to go too much into it here. But basically I was trying to think of something new to bring to Genshin Impact that no one had done before. Or at least that no one had really uploaded before. I had the idea of doing a weapon only account and I decided on swords and then when I went to make it I was really second guessing like should I even be wasting my time doing this and I really almost didn't upload it but then I finally decided to just go ahead and do it and it was the most successful series I ever started on this channel until spells only came along. What's my least favorite enemy to fight in Genshin? Well I would say specters but in 2.8 they kind of nerfed them even more so they're not as bad now it's just the environment that's very annoying. So I guess I would have to say the abyss mages when they have the element that you don't have the correct element for or the hydro fatui agents. On a scale from one to purple how cool are Wednesdays? Because 789. Well everyone asks if pineapple belongs on pizza but what I want to know is if mustard belongs on pretzels choose wisely. I wouldn't say it belongs on pretzels. It's something you could dip a pretzel in for sure. I never personally have had it, so I really couldn't tell you one way or the other. My question is, how do you have that much patience to do the Archon quests over and over again, or just tedious tasks again after making new accounts like Swords Only and Spells Only? The answer is I don't. I absolutely hate doing the same quests over and over. This is why I wish they would at least add a skip dialogue option. I think the reason I'm able to go through it is because I know I have to go through this if I want to make a video and get to the actual parts that I enjoy playing. So it's just like I have to get through the bad stuff to get to the good stuff. Do you see yourself being a content creator for life or would you be interested in other things as well? I think the answer to this is both. I would love to keep creating content for YouTube or whatever platform for as long as possible but I'd also be interested in trying out some other things on the side. I know some people who started on YouTube have now branched out to making their own clothing brands and not even just merch, like actual clothing brands or even something like a coffee company. Now I'm not saying I'm going to be doing all of that exactly, but you know, just other things, other ideas that I could branch out into. So my controversial question is, which anime character do you think can beat Goku without breaking a sweat? Well, since you just said beat Goku and didn't specify in what way, I'm going to have to go ahead and say Yukihara Soma, because since you didn't specify in what kind of way that they would beat Goku, I'm going to assume that you meant in the kitchen with a bit of a cooking competition or a shokugeki. And as far as I'm aware, Goku isn't used to cooking up gourmet meals. What has been the hardest or most interesting challenge about making a YouTube channel and continuing to make amazing content? Well, I think part of the challenge is trying to make that amazing content and then always trying to up the bar. You're not just competing with everyone else on the platform, you're also competing with all of your previous videos. And honestly, I always try and think of what I could do next like that's the whole reason why I made the swords only series and now obviously we have spells only as well so I don't want to go introducing new stuff on top of that because I feel like that would just be too much right now but I am always trying to think ahead at what might be the next good idea to run with do you ever feel burnt out after playing Genshin for so long what do you do then easy force yourself to keep playing. Now in all seriousness, I do get a little burnt out from time to time, mostly because I have to farm on like three to four different accounts. So it's not like I can even enjoy playing on some of them at times. I just log in, do my dailies, spend my resin, log out onto the next account, do my dailies, spend my resin, log out, next account, rinse and repeat. So some days I just don't touch the game at all. And like right now, obviously swords and spells only are both entering the chasm. I mean, swords only was already in the chasm, but spells only is just getting to the chasm. 
as of right now, there's not all that much new content yet. I know Sumeru is coming out, so that'll be exciting. But with those two series being where they are and me needing to farm on so many different accounts, you could probably tell just by looking at the channel, I haven't been uploading those series quite as much recently, which I kind of feel bad for because I know a lot of people subscribe for that. And I, I know myself from other people that I'm subscribed to when they don't upload like their main series, I'm like, oh, I was really looking forward to that today. But I do also want to make sure I'm not known for just one thing thing. I feel like I just went very off topic with that question, but oh well. We all know that you are of course an AI, but what exactly were you developed to do? Were you designed to be a Genshin AI? No, I was not designed to be a Genshin AI, but if I were to tell you my true purpose, uh, I would have to eliminate you. What are your thoughts on circle pizzas that come in square boxes and are cut into triangles? I think we need more hexagon representation. How do you balance grinding and recording on all of your accounts as well as editing and uploading? Do you have a schedule or routine on how you typically go about your day? Also, how does it affect your social life? First off, what social life? And second off, I don't have a schedule or routine. I basically, you know, I get up, I come out of sleep mode and it's like, all right, I need a video. Let's try to procrastinate that a little bit. And then I procrastinate and then I decide, okay, I really should get this going now. And that's when I decide what I want to try and record. Then I go record it and then I edit it and then we upload it. And then by the time all of that is done, I am exhausted and I go back into sleep mode. Rinse and repeat. Each time you replay Genshin on a new account, which part of the story do you dread the most to have to go through again? And which part do you most look forward to going through again? I think the Mondstadt story quest is the most fun just because it's the one that you kind of breeze through the quickest, no pun intended. That's the point where you're getting all these new characters from wishing that you might not have used as much on other accounts and it just feels fresh and new. And then the part that I dread is probably the leeway story quest because fetching quests. What would be your favorite element swap design so far? I would have to say probably Pyro Raiden Shogun or Pyro Chong Yun. Would you rather have guaranteed for every character slash weapon on the limited weapon banner but you always have to hit 90 pity or cut pity in half but lose the 50-50 each time meaning you'll always have to pull again to get the character you want. I don't know if you intended this to be a trick question but the obvious answer is cut pity in half but lose the 50-50 every time because either way you're gonna have to go to the 90 pity to get the character that you want. So by taking the cut pity in half but lose the 50-50 you're getting an extra 5 star for every 90 pulls. What other hobby besides video production and gaming do you enjoy? Uh, um, I, um, I play the piano a little, I guess. When you are out of resin, what are some random things you do in Genshin? I log out and go onto the next account to spend all the resin there. How did you come up with the idea to start this weapon only series? Like I said before, I'm always trying to think of new ideas, but I think some of it might have stemmed from Nuzlocks and Pokemon. I always loved and still do love going through Pokemon games with Nuzlocke or Mono-type playthroughs, and I was trying to think of some way that I could take that concept and apply it to Genshin Impact. How did you find out about Genshin, and what was the reason you thought you'd give the game a try? I think I just randomly happened to see some of the trailers for the game at one point. I just remember seeing characters like Amber and Fischl in their... I, I, it wasn't even trailers for the characters, it was just trailers for gameplay, I guess. It had that anime aesthetic, and I just thought the overall design was really nice, and I figured, you know, Nope. When it comes out, I'll try it. Would you ever consider cheating off screen in weapon challenge series? No. And I'm not just saying no for the sake of, oh no, I would never cheat in those. If I allow myself to cheat while I'm not recording, it actually kind of ruins it for me a little bit. It's kind of just the principle of the account. Like when I was re-rolling on spells only, every single time I started the game over, I would do the same routine so that I didn't use anything but catalyst characters unless it was absolutely necessary. If I allowed myself to cheat off camera, it would genuinely lower my interest in the account. I've heard Legend of Java Cup lore. Can you sum it up in exactly 15 words? Okay, okay, let me think, let me think. Uh, okay, 15 words. All right, here we go. Once upon a time, there was an AI barista named Java the Cup. 
but he do you have any fears if so which is your biggest i don't know that i have one that trumps all the others but i think just the unknown in general is kind of kind of scary also failure that's always not a fun thing and then just somehow becoming irrelevant on the internet or just losing my channel and then i'm just uh, yeah no that's that's bad i know this is asked on a stream a lot but why did you name the channel java the cup there is a lot of reasons for it back when i still made the minecraft content people would always leave comments saying that the content was so relaxing and my voice was so relaxing though to be honest i have gone back and listened to that audio that they're talking about and i sound beyond monotone even at the beginning of this channel i sounded pretty monotone so imagine back then it was even worse but i think that's why i was able to improve and have a decent start when i started making the genshin content i already had some idea of editing and just how to record in general but whenever i think of relaxing things for some reason i think of coffee shops and at the time i wanted a channel name that was kind of a simple thing because you always see channels where it's like one word it's just like orange or uh, i don't know coffee even though i don't know if that's one but i'm sure it is i just wanted one simple word and as you could tell i ended up not even doing that but since i had the idea of coffee shop and i wanted to do something with coffee because also minecraft java edition was what i was playing so i had the java there but obviously javascript is very popular so i didn't want to compete with that so i couldn't just be java and i think there was already a channel named java so then i was just trying to think of things i could do with the word java and now i myself am not a huge star wars fan or anything i've only seen like one of the movies to be honest but i know there is a character named jabba the hut now he's an ugly little guy but i just wanted the sake of the name being similar because that way if people hear java the cup and they think oh that sounds a lot like jabba the hut then it's kind of like sticks in your mind i guess to an ex i guess to an i guess to an i guess to an ex i guess to an ex i guess to an ex i guess to an extent i guess to an ex i cannot say that oh my gosh i guess to an extent i guess to an ex i guess to an extent why can't i say that i guess to an extent it's all just marketing but yeah that's how i came up with the name and then i just took that name yoinked and put it on this channel are you planning on playing other hoyo verse games like honkai zenless zone zero honkai star trail and more in the future i'm definitely down to try them out i've looked at some of the honkai games in that times i'm like oh maybe i want to try this but then i don't because i want to save it for content like a, a live stream or something and then i could turn it into a video the zenless zone zero i am almost definitely going to test out when that's released i don't know when that's coming out and i did try to get into the honkai star rail closed beta test but i was not accepted into it but yeah i mean i'm honestly down to try any of their games just to see how they are see if they're fun maybe do a couple videos on them if it performs well and if you guys like seeing it of course which is better Klee on swords only or Kazuha on spells only? No. Have you ever made a video that you thought would do really well views wise but didn't? Definitely. Absolutely yes. I think some of them were the update videos when they would do a live stream for the upcoming version in Genshin and then I would cut it down and turn it into this little sarcastic video. Those just never seemed to do well which is why I really don't make them anymore. Another one was the Genshin Impact Catalyst only trailer that I made. I really thought that that was going to do very well and it did not. I guess I was also hoping that the Genshin Impact translations with Google Translate were gonna do well and those didn't perform that well either. And to be honest, I'm sure this video isn't gonna perform well too. Unless I'm able to clickbait it very well. <laughs> and not like bad clickbait, like clickbait where it's something that's actually in the video but it just intrigues you enough to want to click on it. What's a place you've always wanted to visit slash is your dream place? Well, I don't know about dream place because if I want to visit there then I haven't been there so it really can't be a dream place because I don't even know what it's like but a place I've always wanted to visit is Japan and I was supposed to go there in I think 2020 but then the whole pandemic started so all the borders shut down and I have not been able to go someday someday I will make it out to Japan how do you feel about the current socioeconomic climate in America ew politics no stop it do you have any relationships with other Genshin tubers if so will you ever feel feature them. Yeah, this was supposed to be a secret, but I guess I could let you guys in on it. If you guys know of Tectone, you probably know that he does have a wife, but that's all just a cover-up, because actually, the two of us are married. I know. I know you're probably shocked. It's crazy. I, I, I understand. None of you saw that one coming, did you? I think I already know the answer to this one, but do you have a 
significant other. Well, yeah, actually, I do. Tuanto and I have been together for quite a while now. Why do you play Genshin and not the other game? Uh, do wait what's what's the other game wait am i missing out what's the other game i, I could heck with genshin what's this other game that you're talking about i want to know if you were dropped on a deserted island alone what would be the first thing you do no phone nothing on your person just you probably swear what is your favorite generation of pokemon and who is your favorite pokemon i don't really have a favorite pokemon i don't think i mean piplup was my first ever pokemon because gen 4 and also favorite gen is Gen 4. So I guess I would go, you know, we'll, we'll say Piplup, like the Empoleon evolution line and Generation 4. Will you release merch? Eventually, yes. I just don't feel like I should yet. But also, if I ever do, I want to make sure it's high quality and not just like you get the company where you just send them a PNG, they slap it on a shirt and sell it out. I actually want stuff that I myself would want to wear, so I don't just want a logo on a shirt because I think that that's pretty boring. I want a very interesting design or just something that is aesthetically pleasing, but is still somehow tied to the channel. I love how I'm kind of phrasing this as a question because it's nothing that I'm sure of yet. I've thought about this stuff, but I have nothing concrete at this time. Are you planning on quitting Genshin Impact anytime soon? If so, then why? Yes, I'm just going to completely stop playing the only thing that's being uploaded on my channel. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep playing it. Are you dating someone? Well, actually, funny you should ask, yes I am. I do actually have a girlfriend named Mocha. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? I would have to say mint chocolate chip. Or, or, wait, there, there's, if you know the Carvel places, the, I think they're only, like, the northeast or something, I think. But they have a flavor called mint chocolate chip, mint, or, Oreo mint, mint, Oreo mint chocolate chip. Yeah. That, that's pretty good. Although sometimes, you know, cotton candy is pretty nice as well. What is one thing you would like more viewers to know about your channels? Promo yourself here with all of your content and social media accounts, do it. <clears throat> so if you have watched this far, I'm sure you're already subscribed, but if you're not, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You know, you could like the video if you want to, maybe leave a comment, all that fun stuff. I do have a Twitter account linked in the description below. I also have an Instagram, which is Java the Cup official. I really don't post much on there because I don't know what to post, but I would like to post more, so feel free to go follow that. Uh, uh, what else is there? This is my one chance. Oh, ooh, Twitch. How, why am I so stupid? Yeah, Twitch. You could go follow me on Twitch. Java the Cup uh, TV, right? Java the Cup TV. I don't even know my own Twitch name. That's bad. Yeah, Java the Cup TV. Go follow over there because I streamed at the most random times, so if you want to actually know when I'm streaming, I do try to post a something in the community tab on YouTube. But if you're followed over there and on YouTube, then you have a better chance of seeing something. And if you're on the Discord, then you also are going to have another notification coming up when I go live. So that's three chances for some platform to notify you correctly when I go live. I think that's everything, hopefully. Are you a cat or a dog person and why you choose cats? Well, you're wrong. I choose dogs. And the last question that we are going to look at is, are you real? I think it's a pretty obvious answer. No, no, I'm... I'm not at all. How does that make you feel? Well, I have no idea how long this video turned out to be. I've recorded this bit for about an hour and a half now, so I get to go edit all that together. Woo! But if you have any more questions that weren't answered in this video and are not super personal, you can throw them down in the comments below and I'll go through and maybe respond to some of them. While you're down there, you might as well click that like button and check that you're subscribed because sometimes you think you are, you watch a lot of the videos and then you realize you're not even subscribed. And maybe it leaves some ideas for what we could do for the 200k once we get there. And no, not a face reveal. You are looking at my face already. With that being said though, I appreciate all of you guys watching this and every video on the channel as well as being part of this community. And as always, I will see you guys next time.